All right, now, Brill. Yes, Jim. You, this is a very, very, very interesting story. In yep. fact, it's so bizarre, mm. I, I, I'm not sure I believe it. Well, stand back and have a listen to this. Now, we're going to get this has never been told. I know we have a so, bit of fun with this. That's why it's called Untold Story. That's right. Yeah. But this one, <laughs> unlike yours, Brian, that come up and we've all heard it. But anyway, this has never been told. <laughs> and we're that going, is true. We're going back to 19... <laughs> Proof will be in the pudding yes. today. Bill. 1986. 86. Oh, my first year at the Cats. My right. big year. And right. <laughs> <laughs> 1986. Yes. And he bring himself at the it. MCG, <laughs> at the MCG was a double header. Uh, Melbourne had played Footscray Ooh. before the Geelong North Melbourne Jeez. game, Twilight game, Geelong North Melbourne. Okay? Double, double header. Double header at the G. Couple right. of the bottom and teams. I was actually there, Bill, now you've mentioned yeah, that. So yeah, double header. Yeah. Right so now there's a, a young kid called Craig Evans. He's from Halls Gap. Who, uh, who did he play for? Played for the Cats about nine or ten games. So uh-huh. uh, anyway, I reckon he's in his third game, and we'll get to him shortly, mm-hmm. but I just want to set the scene. Yeah. Set the scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's playing his third game <laughs> for the take Cats. Take your time, Bill. <laughs> so we get the bus from Geelong to Melbourne. Everyone's on the bus. Yep. Uh, we get to the ground, and this is a day, a beautiful day, when we walked into the ground, and Gary Ablett Sr. wasn't playing. Oh, yeah. He was out injured. Right. But it was a very nice day, and there was a nice crowd getting into the G at oh, this time. Right. Because, it was a crowd. Bit of Atmos. Yes, and, and it was the second game. And I'll introduce now Craig Evans. Shorty, welcome, buddy. G'day, Billy. How you going? Yeah, good, buddy. Good, mate. Good. Thanks for joining us. That's no worries. So, mate, we get to the ground. You're in the team. You're, what, third game maybe, Shorty? Yeah, third game, yeah. And uh, we travel up on the bus. We get out onto the ground and have a look at the ground. Then what happens? Well, what happened, Bill, was um, I had plenty of um, people coming down from stall to watch the game, about three bus loads and three bus loads. Yeah, three, three bus loads. Yeah, so as you do, you catch up with all them people prior to the game and yep. <laughs> have a bit of a yak and all what's going on because you don't sort of see them all the time. So um, add a bit of a yak to them, and yep. we do the walk on the ground as you do back then, and well, make sure it's all good. Would have been good excited at this stage. Oh, mate, it? third game, first game at the MCG oh, for huge little shorty. Day. Huge yeah. day for your shorty. Yeah. So. Um, no, that's all good. So they all see me walk off the ground and we go into the uh, rooms yes. to get stripped. So at that stage, as far as they know, I'm playing and, um, yeah, it should be a good night, so, hopefully. So, so it's about 15 minutes, so it's a warm-up. The crowd, yeah. crowd's big Big crowd. Yeah. And one G. Ablett walks into the rooms and says to the coach, John Devine at the time, Johnny, I'm ready to go. Oh. <laughs> I, I want to play. <laughs> what? So... <laughs> Hang on, so he's not playing. So he's out, injured. He's been... But a big crowd, good atmosphere, twilight game. <laughs> Gaza goes, he came good. I'm Phil. So, <laughs> so we have a team meeting, Shorty, don't we, in the toilet block or the shower block uh, in the rooms? Yeah, correct, Bill. We um, went into the rooms and, of course, you get stripped and get all oiled up and yeah. ready to go and make sure you're looking right. So you've got your gear on? Doing the warm-up, got the oil on, got it all ready to go. <laughs> yep. And... Um, that morning, Gary had been ruled out with his knee for about the fourth or so week in a row or something. And yeah, so we're doing the warm up, and I just happened to sort of see Gary walk in the door and sort of stand in the crowd there. So <laughs> um, John Devine goes for a bit of a wander over and says good day to Gary. And next minute, uh, John calls us all into the showers, and yep. he said, "Look, we've got a, a little bit of a problem. I've got a decision to make." <laughs> and what was it? Well, he just said that uh, Gary's just walked in. Uh, the rooms, I've had a bit of a yak to him, and um, he said he reckons he's right to play. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to play. He wants to play. So and... um, John says, look, this is what's uh, sort of going to happen. He wasn't prepared to make the decision, and um, he said, uh, I want all you guys to take a vote um, oh. and take a vote as to whether Gary plays or not. <laughs> and... And... So I still remember that. So I, I know I was playing in this game, so right. I go in and... and I go, well, oh, Shorty or Gazza? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I might have put my hand up for Gazza. But, <laughs> but it was the senior players in uh, Mick what? Turner and Terry Bright and yeah. these guys, yeah. Shorty, wasn't it, that I yep. think said, I think we might go with Gazza. Yeah, well, what they sort of, as soon as uh, John spoke about it, they sort of said in the back, you could hear him in the background sort of saying, oh, you got to, <laughs> it's Gazza, you got to play him, he's the best player in the yeah. league and all that sort oh, of stuff geez. and you got to play him. And so anyway, Devine sort of, went out and um, left us to sort of to take the vote. So we're in the showers there and I thought, uh, 
Well, how, how, Shorty, how long is this before the game's about to get underway? It wouldn't have been any more than 10 minutes to run out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the three busloads are all there waiting for Shorty to run out. Shorty, I hope so, you voted for yourself. So hang on. <laughs> so the vote's the vote is now... Be, Bill, who was captain? Uh, was it Mick Turner? Mick Turner. You know, so Mick yeah, Turner Mick. was the skipper. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was he saying behind closed <laughs> doors? Well, I think we all know our Mick operates. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he'll anyway, be on the 80 the, Cologne the, shortly. The upshot is, Shorty, we run out onto the ground. Yep. There's no Shorty. Oh, no, no. Three yeah. busloads of stall Hall, hall yeah. Gaps people are sitting there going, where's Evo? Where's, where's Craig? Where? Yeah. And well, Gaz is out there and you didn't play. You sat in the stands. That's it. So obviously, um, so we went out of the showers and, of course, what did I, uh, David Whedon was the reserves coach yeah. at the time, so he sort of came over to me and I was, uh, well, as you can imagine, pretty disappointed, but... It was the decision that I sort of said, look, just play him, you know. I thought, who am I to say, Gary Ablett, you don't play, I am. Oh, man. Yeah, well, so anyway, I sat down there and get, David had a yak to me and just said, you know, <laughs> probably one of the best decisions you've made. Well, I didn't think that at the time, but I went along with him. <laughs> and, oh. um, yeah, so I jumped in the shower and washed all the oil and all the gear and unstrapped and all that sort of stuff and, and went out. And they've obviously, family and friends... <laughs> obviously thought that I'd been injured in the warm-up, I suppose, at the time. What was the result of the game? How'd Gaz play? Uh, well, Gary didn't really do anything for three quarters, and I think he might have got three goals in the last quarter when the game was all over and we were five or six goals down or something like that. So Just added yeah, to the game. But I think um, I said to Bill, I'm not really sure whether he actually played in number five that night or they didn't um, have his jumper. It, oh, they really? had to borrow boots for him and stuff, so oh, just the eight. property stewards didn't take anything up there. I've just been told the Cats lost by 62 points. Yes. So uh, clearly oh, the absence of Shorty. If we had Shorty there running around. Well, that's it. It could have been a difference. Did Gary, did Gary play that night? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 that is it. an amazing story. Uh, that's a that's true a, story. Amazing that's story. the best one. It's the best one, Craig. You hear all these stories, and I haven't heard that one. Could you look? Your Geelong teammates in the eye again, Craig, properly after um, that? Yeah, look, look. as as time went by, like I was recruited from Grove, uh, Grovedale and Billy Dale's Eel sort of picked me out and, and some of them guys, when I first got to the club, look, they were great for me sort of thing and look, it was one of them decisions that I think, you look back, it was disappointing because I never got to play on the MCG, even though uh, yeah. I played 13 games, but never got to play on the G, which would have been great and... Um, but yeah, no, no, that was that was fine. I I got over so, that. I was only a young bloke, so. Yeah. You, you, could you ever look Bill in the eye again? Because of all the people, Bill just burnt you to a crisp. Well, Bill, Bill burnt me in another way. The first day of oh. pre-season, he showed up with no shorts, so he had to borrow a pair of my shorts, and I never got them back. Oh, Bill, <laughs> they're a bit tight. You? Oh. Hey, well, no, hey, good. What are you doing now, Shorty? Up there in Halls Gap. What are you doing up there, buddy? Well, I, up here, I worked for Parks Victoria for 16 years, and I went to a gold mine for 12. Now I've been about six years looking after uh, clients with disability in the houses, so oh, that good. keeps me out of trouble, and I'm involved with um, a good mate called Doug Whitworth. He's got Whitworth Racing, so I go to the races, and we have a few runners here and there. Good mm. on you, mate. Well mm. done. Craig Evans, that is. Well uh, done, Craig. Thanks well for that. I've got to say, I've got to say yeah, if I were in the showers and yeah. I was part of the leadership group, I think you'd go with the greatest of all time. Well, you? that's <laughs> I honestly thought that. Be Is he gone? Is he gone? Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, mate, don't worry about short. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the way, and that was part of the knock on Johnny Devine at that particular time, wasn't it? Yeah. That he wasn't, you know, really what, strong. What about, nah. but what and about Mick was. Gaz? But Gaz, to <laughs> be just standing there and yeah. but, oh, he's I'm clearly been out for a month it, already. No, you no, know what? I, I think I might be right. a good night, good now, atmosphere, good crowd. Now, this is the second just game. to make sure that is true, uh, Mick Turner's on the line. Oh, <laughs> oh, hello. Now, Mick, you've just been hammered by... What, what was his name? Craig Bill? Evans. Sure, Craig shorty. Evans, uh, when he was the left out of the side, he, you were the skipper in the toilet block <laughs> yep. uh, that voted uh, him out and Gazza in. Is this well, true? Absolute lie, Brian. You know oh, any better oh, than that? No, you can't be absolute lying, Mick. Hey? That, what, did it happen or not? It did happened. they have a vote? Uh, Bill, Bill knows as well as I do that um, what happened was there was a double header at the MCG. I think the Sydney Swans We've were done playing. all that, Mick. You've got to yeah. cut to the chase, mate. <laughs> okay. So John Devine comes up to me as captain and he said, um, we've got Gary Ablett making himself available. I think we lost our first four games. We're playing, you know, obviously want Gary Ablett to, uh, to play, but he hadn't trained for a month and uh, made himself uh, available on the day, which is just uh, completely unprofessional. And um, I said, no. 
Um, John Devine gathered all the players in the uh, the toilets at the old oh. MCG Southern Stand, and um, I had them say again, and uh, a few other blokes, and I won't, won't mention any names. Probably people of lesser character than myself oh. said, "No, no, you've got a pl- you've got a playing." And um, they played Gary Ablett. I think he kicked five. Craig Evans missed his spot, yep. and we got beat. That's right. Yeah. All right. I was, well, I was the one, one of the ones that voted for him, by the way, Mick. Yeah, you and Peter Johnson and Terry Bright. I've got a long memory, Billy. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is unearthed the vision within that club. You cannot have a strong football club when you've got weak characters like that. If oh, got a, like, like you. You've got to stand up, eh? Oh. No, and John Devine, was, he was the coach and he was very strong. Have you carried that, Mick? Hmm? Have, you, no. have you been forced to carry the, the magnitude uh, of that decision? Badly scarred, badly scarred by it, and um, oh, uh, there was a few very, very bad decisions made earlier that year, and, and Bill knows about it, yeah, and Bill goes on about it a fair bit, but as I say to people, and I've said it before on this radio station, I was captain in 84 and 85, and I was captain coach in 86. Of the three <laughs> <laughs> he reckons he did it all. <laughs> so good on you, Mick. You still, you stood up for uh, Shorty. Good on you. Of course I did. Well done, mate. Good. You yeah. didn't, Bill. No, I was no, only no. a kid, mate. I was, <laughs> I was, I was flipping and flopping. Well, yeah, Fair Bill. to say, yeah, yeah at the right. time. Yeah. Just at the time. <laughs> I used to go out with Mick. Oh, he was very good. Oh. <laughs> So, wrong? Bill, that is extraordinary. Yeah, Damo, your news antenna oh. is on high alert. No, it is, Jim, because I think we've all heard the, these mythical stories over the mm. journey. I've never heard that Craig Evans story. Bill's talked about it in the last, say, few months, haven't yeah. you? And I didn't half believe it, Bill, until we heard Craig himself. Well, so. we got Craig still on the line. Did you know that, Shorty, that Mick actually said, no, no, Gary shouldn't play, uh, that you should play? No, I didn't know about the conversation with mm. John, so yeah. maybe that is true. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, mm. Terry Bright was definitely one that said he had to play and um, two or three others. So so if, if that was the yeah. case, I apologise yeah, to and, Mick. But and, no, that's and right, and Bill, of course, um, was one that said... Uh, that's all right, Shorty. Well, anyway, great sp- talking to you, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good on you, Shorty. Keep up the good work, champ. Oh, okay, Thanks, Shorty. Thank you, you, you've you've just done. driven a wedge that's, into that, Bill. That that, the that's, best, <laughs> that's the best one ever. That's great. And well done to Mick. To stand yeah, to no, no, he just put a fact right. And that's what he was, Mick. He was outspoken, but he supported you. He was. Captain coach. What about how far our game's come? A double header. Yeah, it didn't last. That They promoted it... I remember at the time, and I went to it because of the North component, but it, it never was done again. It just was not done again. Did you say how far our games have come talking about a double header? How about a player just say five minutes before? Oh, no, game? I, I want to play. I think I'm ready to play. <laughs> Without boots. No, no boots. boots. No. Borrowed no. pair of boots. <laughs> but, Bill, you hear so many stories yeah. about that particular individual. Mm. Like, you know, the great Malcolm Blight saying well, everyone's got to be there at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning yeah. after a shocker yeah. and just one of you test me and it, see if you don't turn up. Malcolm Blight said, I want one of you to test me and go on, don't turn up tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow morning and see what happens. So 6 a.m. we're all going to be there. At 5.50 we're ringing Gaz's phone. Gaz, you got to come. Where are you? He lobs in at 7. Oh, no. And oh. so Blighty said, mate, we're going for a walk. Went to a park. Yes. Blighty crosses a bridge, a little bridge. He says, right, out. Oh. I'm over this side. You can make two decisions here, Gary. Mm. You walk the bridge and come over to my side, or you stay over there and you don't play again. And? He walked across the walked bridge. Across oh. the bridge. Oh. Another great story, so Bill. Yeah, he walked across the bridge, but he still rolled up at seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got away with he it. He wanted yeah. to sack him. He, he got, got away with him it. and the board outvoted him.